Not too long ago, when Minecraft version 1.20.5 released, Mojang introduced a brand new feature to Minecraft servers. And depending on how the community responds to this feature and decides to use it in the years going forward, it could potentially change up the Minecraft server community forever. Allow me to explain. So this is my, I would say, amazing recreation of what a simple Minecraft server network could look like. Now in this instance, we have three playable servers. There is survival, creative, and then a lobby. And all of these three servers are connected by the proxy. For those unfamiliar with the term proxy, a proxy is like a velocity or bungee cord server. And the IP of the proxy server, that is the IP you end up joining inside of Minecraft. Then the proxy will send you to the lobby, and from the lobby you can jump to either survival or creative. Now in this case, there are only two servers that players actually want to play on. Survival and creative. The proxy in the lobby are just there and function as a bridge to join survival and creative and link them together. They don't do much more. But that does mean that for a simple network where you only have two servers that players actually want to play on, you need a total of four servers, which is quite a lot. Now, of course, you could get rid of the lobby. It is not required. You don't need it. You could also just make it so that from the proxy, you immediately join survival and then in in the survival server you have an option to go to creative if you so please it would look less clean but this is also an option but then still this would require three servers even though only two servers players can actually play on but what if i told you you can kind of get rid of the proxy now as well. You sort of can. Because Mojang introduced a brand new feature called transfer packets. And what is a transfer packet? A transfer packet basically allows you to send yourself or other players from one server to the other. Without the need of any proxy whatsoever. Now using transfer packets is simple. If your Minecraft server is above version 1.20.5. When you go to your server.properties file. And then all the way at the top of the config you should see an option accept transfers now by default this one is on false but after setting it to true and restarting your server your server will now be able to accept transfers now how do you transfer somebody to another server well with just a single command let's say i want to transfer myself to the minecraft server i just enabled transfers on all you need to do is type slash transfer after that you want to type the host name which is the ip address of the minecraft server you want to transfer a player to. So for me, this is going to be the host name. Then you want to press space and type the port. So for me, that is 25629. And after that, you want to specify who you want to send to that server. So I can, of course, choose for myself, but you can also choose for a random player or the nearest player or all players. You could even do that. Now, I know it says nearest entity here. Just to clarify, you can't transfer entities. You can just transfer players because why would you like to send the horse to another server? But I'm just going to choose for my own name and now press enter and there we go we have officially been transferred i'm on a completely different minecraft server now that was so easy and so quick and just to clarify these two servers were in no way connected to each other they are not linked to a proxy i don't even have a proxy active right now this was all done with the new transfer packets of minecraft so let's talk about it will this actually replace a proxy well most likely not at least not in its current state because proxies also have their own benefits for example on a proxy you can run plugins if you have a big minecraft server network with maybe a couple dozen servers then being able to run plugins on your proxy is kind of mandatory let's say you want a global staff chat that works across your entire network it can be done with a proxy plugin or let's say you want some network wide moderation tools where you ban one player in one server and they will then be banned from the entire network stuff like that that is all stuff possible because of a proxy also and this is really a big server problem but maybe you have multiple lobbies and when a player joins your network they will always always be sent to the least crowded one. Well, that is something that a proxy can do. But for small Minecraft servers, these transfer packets could be a very solid replacement. Because most networks out there are just two game modes slapped together. Let's say somebody has a survival server and their friends also want to play creative. Then you have to install a proxy and start a creative server, link them all together, just so players can easily travel from one server to the other. With transfer packets, that could be done so much easier. But in its current 
state, it is not a proxy replacement. That is also the case because right now, when in the server.properties file you enable these transfer packets, you are allowing transfers from everyone. So not just other servers inside of your network. I like to think of it this way. Transfer packets right now are kind of like raiding a streamer on Twitch. If you're not familiar with Twitch at all, on Twitch, when you're almost done streaming, you can decide to either end stream or you can raid another streamer, which will basically send all of your viewers to another person that is streaming. Now, the person that receives these viewers didn't ask to get raided, but they did enable the ability to raid them. And that is kind of how these transfer packets work now as well. You allow transfers and after that, any Minecraft server can send players your way way which is really cool but that also means that all servers in your transfer packets network are not back-end servers like they are all public servers that anyone can join with the right ip address you can now just easily send your players around from my knowledge there's currently also no way to link two servers to each other so that players can only be transferred within that self-created network this might be possible though maybe with a minecraft plugin or maybe paper or spigot can just implement it into their server software but it's for sure very very interesting and then last but not least something i can totally see happen in the future is minecraft proxies like velocity and bungee cord starting to use this new transfer packet protocol it's hard to say anything definitive now but i can totally see that for a proxy it will be a lot more efficient and maybe even quicker to use these transfer packets i don't know if it would actually be any better than how minecraft proxies work today but it's for sure interesting to think about anyway that's gonna be it for today make sure sure to subscribe to my channel, join my Discord. Thank you so much, channel members. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye.